with three losses and two draws. With 43 big wins, 20 by way of KO. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the people's champion of Aotearoa. David, the Terminator, do Sensational intro in the ring for redemption as we take a look at the tail of the tape. David Tour with all that vast experience, 43 KOs, the king of the hits in the early ages, 38 years old, up against the 40-year-old Monty Barrett, the only man to put him on the ring, put him on the canvas in the ring. You'll notice they've got 72 on the side of the caps. That was the year David Tour was born. And we are ready for 12 rounds, if it goes that far, for the Asia-Pacific and Oriental heavyweight titles. Two guns, Barrett, from Queens out of America. And the local hero from South Auckland, right here in Mighty Manukau, at the Telstra, Clifford, Telstra Clear Pacific Event Centre. Redemption is underway, round one, tour, Barrett two. And Brad McCarley signaled it on. Monty Barrett, gloves up high, right hand, characteristically nice and high. Pump him out that jab. Make no mistake, he is here to win. There is a lot of calm in his corner. Long, stinging jab to the body there. David Tour at this point, just measuring his man. Can Barrett find a home to the left hook, which he found in the 12th round of the last outing? Tour measuring, slipping. He's a very elusive fighter. He's a little cold, Barrett, you'll notice, kept his jacket on right until after the anthems. David Tua came out shirtless. There was a danger time for fighters until they've warmed up. They can be what they call cold, cold. Tua's an experienced pro, been around a long time. That is Tua circling to his right, trying to put Barrett, on to Barrett onto his left hook. Chris Martin in the tour camp, team two, they've been working on his mobility, his variety, watch out for the right hand, not just the left hook, working his way quietly into this bout, a lot of expectation for an early knockout between 4-5 and round 6, at the moment it's been one of those quiet fearless all rounds to her yet to really even throw the jab. Barrett just uh, looking for a clipping right hand over the top. David not really pushing. Just trying to measure his man. And again, he's been in New Zealand. He hasn't had the top American sparring he might have had had he been overseas. Barrett doubling up on the jab again. Potentially looking for the left hook. Not really releasing the right hand at this point. That can be very dangerous against David Tua, particularly early in the fight, where he keeps that explosive work. First right hand thrown in anger from David Tua off the double jab. Of course, David Tua from his 52 wins, 43 KOs. Crowd patiently watching, waiting to see if he can unleash that trademark left hook. David though, quite happy to dominate with his jab and his height. David's just a little sluggish with his head movement. He's usually a lot more elusive. Barrett can't afford to let Barrett find a mark. And again, he's stepping on his jab a little bit more. And they talked about James Ali Bashir, his trainer, about him being more aggressive in this fight. And again, see him turning away, locking up David's arm and turning away from the right hand, changing the angle so he can't get his platform set. Little right hand there from Monty Barrett over the top. The first shot he's really thrown in anger. And again, turning David to a, a la Evander Holyfield. This is Mike Tyson not allowing him to get his feet set. Get those power play arms working. Now the tour man starts to warm up to the trade. But it's too late for the end of round one. Well, it'll be hard to score that round to anyone. Even round. WBO rules, of course. No standing eight counts. The referee is the only person who can stop the bout. As we go to Monty Barrett's corner. Hold on with that right hand. Behind your jaw. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Don't get excited. When he cuts you off on one side, you go the opposite way and then back to the other side. You understand? You understand me? Yep. Stay with me. You got the first round of the bank. But you got to work behind that jaw. 
Meanwhile, in David Tua's corner, Chris Martin. Very, very quiet in there at the moment. Start to pick up that intensity. Interesting that from Monty Barrett's corner talking about smooth, good start, but pick it up. Put some hurt on him with the right hand. Very much so. James Ali Bashir spotted something. What he spotted was David's just a little sluggish with his head movement. He's not as sharp as he normally is. And that's a sticky right hand, a sticky jab there from Monty Barrett. Hooking off the jab. Often the right hand will come off that hook off the jab. Urgency Straight away again. Tua takes a couple on the chin. Of course, complete contrast the way in which he started against Shane Cameron, demolished him in the fight of the century. And of course, he started well. And Tua Barrett won and won those early rounds. But at the moment, it's the American. Well, strangely subdued, David Seems Tua. And, and Chris that's Martin Chris... Called, called for the intensity. And again, Tua not ducking under. He's looking for something that's not there at this point. And again, Monty Barrett firing the jab and then stepping off. Tua cannot afford to let him get a rhythm. Barrett just coming back with a little right dig to the body of his own. So much talk before the fight about both boxers being very focused. Both after. And there's that right revenge hand. With a point to prove. Straight and the right hand left hook, and that was the punch that did the damage. Brad Bacali calling that, but I think it's more of interest that Barrett threw the left hand off the right hook. That's right, the left hook off the right hand. And that is a punch that can do some damage. He's getting hit far too early, far too easily. It almost is like the crowd are saying, what are you waiting for, David? This is your moment of redemption. You're in the ring. Start throwing some punches. Yeah, well, no pressure on the man. At the moment, just defensive. And again, you've got to wonder about the mental side of things. About having to knock down again, right hand, left hook. Barrett starting to take control of this round. If it goes to the judges, there's a neutrality thing. There's an American judge, an Aussie judge, and a New Zealand judge with an Australian referee, Brad Vicali. Vicali, a very experienced man, referee with a lot of bouts. A nice work from Monty Barrett, hooking and then changing the angle, making David Tua follow him. So at the moment, if you were going by the points as a judge, you would have to say the American hit Monty two guns, Barrett. Has been the collector so far. Well, it's dangerous signs for David Tua. Far too early in the fight for him to get hit so easily off the right hand, unless he's setting a trap. Unless he's looking for something. Cops one there on the right. And again, throwing the left hook off the right hand, and he's circling to his right, Monty Barrett. This is a very sluggish start from David Tua. Cops more punishment. Sharp shooting with that right hand. Two guns, Barrett. Too easy so far. Crowd quietly stunned here at the Telstra Clear Pacific Event Centre in the home of David Tour. But so far, he hasn't boxed like a hometown hero. Oh, so far, very, very sluggish. Not sure what's going on there, but you'll see Monty Barrett. Listen to his corner. The right hand and the left hook. He got... Warned for the push with the shoulder, but uh, it was the punches before that that counted. Doubling up with a jab, bang, right hand, left hook. Tour a little bit slow on collecting that on the glove. David Tour taking the early punishment. All the pre-fight talk was about perhaps getting him out of it in four or five rounds. Well, you need urgency. You need to start throwing punches to do that. Two is lucky if he's thrown four or five punches in the two rounds so far. Well, it's a mental game inside there. And Chris Martin beat him to the punch, beat him to the punch. You're letting him get off. Civil, the two of start to dominate after two rounds where two guns, Barrett, has been the aggressor. Now they're starting to unleash those jabs. Two are showing a bit more urgency and taking more punishment from the American who's come back to prove a point that he should have won the first bout. Well, he's looking very sharp, Monty Barrett. And again, he's just staying out of range, not allowing David Tua to come with any counters. 
at the moment, David Tour a little bit shell shocked. And and Barrett would know that up against the taller boxes, if Tua gets frustrated because he can't get inside because of the reach of the height advantage, that can lead to him getting a bit tied up. Well, you get you get tense, you start to make mistakes, you lead in going under the right hand there nicely, David Tua. And again, you start to make mistakes, and that gives the opening. The crowd's starting to push Tua up, but he has to stay focused. He cannot afford to get emotional. David, quick with a little left hook, but not answering back. Something missing here right now from David Tua. It's like target practice for Monty Barrett. And when you go into a bout, which apparently is supposed to be the defining moment of your career, where your career could be on the There's line, you can't afford to take blood over David yes. Tua's eye already. He's been cut. You can't afford to take your time. Well, something needs to happen he? here. Or is he laying a trap to unleash an explosive left hook? His timing's out. It's the major problem. The speed of Monty Barrett and the sharpness is creating problems for him. Perhaps the quality of the sparring that he's had has been a problem because he's not able to time the shots of Monty Beefham, oh, sorry, Monty Barrett that we've seen before, and he's not countering. Blood and pouring from the eye of the tour man as two guns dominates the fight. David Tua just so strangely subdued. He's an experienced fighter, Monty Barrett. It's in the corner of the eye, so it's not too bad at this point. But early in the fight, very rarely have we seen David Tua cut. But it's also frustrating because this is the guy that actually put him on the canvas. You don't want to give him the early advantage, which is exactly what David Tua has done here. Chris Martin, an experienced cut, man. He'll have to go to work on that because it's three, only round three. Tua really needs to start to let go. Coming to the end of round three. Tua Barrett two. So far it's not redemption, it's not revenge. It could be a repeat. Well, it's very rusty from David Tua so far. And that's a sign of frustration there from Tua. He can't get a tag on his man, Barrett. Shuffling one way, and then watch him shuffle the other, change the angle. Making it very difficult for David Tua to cut off the round. Another round, lock that away for Monty Barrett. David Tua looking sluggish. Needs to find the magic to undo two guns, Barrett. Of course, we don't really want to repeat, because that was a draw, the first fight. Barrett reckoned he won. Tua thought he may have been lucky to get away with the draw after kissing the canvas. Barrett all over the Tua Minator at this stage. Just missed with that right. Well, as the fight goes on and he allows Barrett to tee off like that, he'll start getting more accurate with those punches. It was the left hook, and it was the left hook that did the damage last time out. It's he almost goes. like he started off where he left off the first fight. No, well, let's go to the corner. Well, David Tua needs to find something here. So what can David Tua unleash and run for? Now he's starting to move forward with that characteristic head movement. So far, if you were the judges, it would be what? Barrett on probably a drawn first round. The other two easily for Barrett. And then the left hook. Just a bit of a tease with the left hook, getting the local crowd excited. Well, he's got to get close enough, and that's the thing for Tua. He's got to tee off. They say they've been working on getting more power in that jab, but sometimes Tua can just have that sort of pouring jab. Those like shots it. taken on the gloves there. Tua's not really using his jab to good effect. And if you're a shorter fighter, you do have to use a jab. You've got a jab to the body, jab to the gloves, find your range. Just Tua off balance. Looking like shades of Lennox Lewis. That time the jab found its mark. But straight away, Barrett counters. Comes straight back. Just... 
the volume punching from David Tua. When you're a shorter fighter, like a nice little jab, left hook. Now he's starting to tee off. Barrett's getting a little bit confident, but notice he'll back up a little bit now. Tua's Tua trying, trying to bring him in with the right hand and come over the top with the left hook. Working on his conditioning and his mobility and variety. Hasn't even unleashed a right hand yet. Crowd looking for that trademark lethal left hook. Well, let's look for a right hand from David Tura. Yeah, exactly. shot that actually sets up the left hook. Monty Barrett, he's getting brave. He's walking to his right. And so he's trying to set up his own left hook. And you're talking to his trainer, James Oliver He said, you don't hook with a hooker. You try and beat him to the punch. Try and beat him to, to, to hook. And that's what happened last time out. He got beaten with the hook. Sometimes when Tua gets into these sort of sluggish type sort of moods. Nice right hand there from Monty Barrett. And again, right hand ties his man he can, up. He can struggle to get out of it rather than like that explosive start you see when he destroyed Cameron. Well, you need a bit of, you need to smell a bit of blood. David Tua is a bullying kind of fighter. You need to get your rhythm. And we've seen it earlier on tonight with fighters who haven't got their rhythm. So save us there for that. It's just... A nice little step right hand there from Barrett. He's getting cocky, getting confident. Tua's just got no explosion. He's got to bridge the gap. Sometimes coming away from home can bring out the best in the fighter. And Barrett's got plenty of big time experience. And now the left just misses with a second double up. Well, we start to see signs of Tua engaging. Monty Garrett still fighting a winning fight. It's probably three rounds in the bank for Monty Barrett, possibly a drawn first round. You okay, right? Yeah. Okay, stay focused, man. Don't let the hand down. Don't let the man have no rounds. You got every one of these rounds in the bank. Come on, get a towel. Where's the towel? You know, you got every one of the bank rounds in the bank. Look, put the right hand on his shoulder sometime, and you'll find the chair, all right? Keep your chair. That's crystal clear advice. The guy who's elusive, you aim at the shoulder or the chest and, aim, and then look for the, the hook off it. It's really classic advice from a very experienced trainer in James Ali Bashir. There's two are taking the barrage. Right hand. Big right hand once again from two guns. So, and but there two, doesn't seem to be too much urgency in the uh, the two or two corner at the moment. Monty Barrett shaking that off. Well, Chris. Now he comes down with that lethal left hook. Yes. Perhaps they've been playing a waiting game. Well, psychologically, it's a big thing for David Tua. He's got to get that right hand working, though. Just trying to change the angle there. Monty Barrett going to the body, digging there, and fighting. Tua going under the right hand. Brad Vicali letting these guys fight, doing a good job as a referee. You don't really want to see it. 40-year-old against the 38-year-old, both in the twilight of their career. Right now, Monty Barrett looking every inch, the 20-year-old. He looks younger, doesn't he? Well, he's put in a lot of training. He's changed his training. He says he's sharper. He's got himself an MMA trainer. He's five kilos lighter than he was last time out. Doing a lot of cool work to take the body punches. We haven't seen any body punches yet from David Tua. Yes, there was plenty of talk about doing the body punches, doing the, the jab and the right, but so far. That jab's just not even finding air right now from Tua. It's a frustrated David Tua. He can't afford to stay frustrated. Needs to unleash. Unleash the beast, the Sarbine beast. Monty Barrett just firing the shot and ghosting out of range, hoping Tua's going to walk into the right hand. Because the more he lets Barrett bank the points in these early rounds the more pressure is going to pile on to Tua to come up with the big KO he's already in trouble David Tua Tua has to move forward he has to push this fight he's not going to win a fight at range against the guy who's so good with his jab and a right hand coming over the top there from Monty Barrett Tua needs to show something now so Barrett's fighting a very smart fight here, using his height and reach advantage, dominating Tua, frustrating him, picking up the points. 
crowd a bit stunned here at the Telstra 2 Pacific Event Centre. And you'll see Tua's jab, it's about a foot short, not a lot of range on it. He's back to that sort of pouring jab that hasn't got that effect. Oh, he's, it's because he's not exploding with it. Yeah, they unleashed it. Going with a good left hook then. That just caught Monty Barrett's attention. Not enough though to, to back him off, and Barrett's very good with his range. He knows exactly where he is. He's an experienced fighter. He knows how to roll with punches. It's almost like uh, David's being too nice. It's almost like he needs something to fire him up, get him going. Having a big American on his face should get him going because he's running out of rounds. Well, it's very early in the fight. It's only the fifth round. A lot of territory to cover, but you can bank that one again. Monty Barrett. Someone has to get inside the head of David Tua. And light a fire inside him. He needs to find that urgency and intensity. Chris Martin in his corner needs to find something. Right now you look in that corner, he looks a defeated man. Taking punishment on the head. It's two guns unleashing all the guns at the moment. Left and right, mainly that good right, straight right. Well, at the moment, Barrett doesn't even need to get into trouble to win this fight. He's just doing it at a counter. Forcing the Tua Moneda into the corner in every round so far. This is not what the crowd thought they were going to see. Well, it's now the sixth round. Many predicted it wouldn't get out of this round, including myself. And a strangely subdued David Tua, Monty Barrett. Fighting a beautiful technical fight. Now Tua goes to the body. Can he pick the pace here? Lift the intensity. Barrett still controlling the fight. Tua is actually trying to count fight a lot here, which is not really his fight. Normally he's the one that comes to forward and just demolishes you. A younger Tua would have. And again, he's not imposing himself physically either. I would like to see him just be a bit more, more bullish. Those shots missing, but they will find her home at some point. Swing and a miss with the left hook. Well, reminiscent of Lennox Lewis, the manager. And right now, Monty Barrett tactically owning David Tua. Nice little right hand there, good counter right over the top of the jab. And when you're a small bulldog type sort of heavyweight like David too, you haven't got that height, you've got to be busy. And at the moment he's just not busy enough to oh. impose himself on Barrett. Now he unleashes with the left hook. Barrett says, yeah, you got me, bro, that time. Well, but it's only on one. Dive. Hasn't been backed up with anything. And he answers straight back with a one-two, pokes the tongue out. And Barrett got most of that on the glove. Team Tua talked a bit about the foot movement, but so far... And you see Tua there, Barrett getting cocky, he's faking. Big right hand there, and again, turning nicely. Not allowing David Tua to get his feet. Brad Bacali warning him about the head and the back of the head. 110 kilos, David Tua, 100 kilos, Barrett, older. And again, David needs to, get his hands, he needs to get his hands free on the inside there, not stop. And Barrett shuffling one way and watch him shuffle the other in a minute. David Tua now starting to find his mark. But once again, Barrett takes it on the chin, answers back. Almost coming to the halfway stage of redemption. Well, at this stage... Barrett can definitely bank five rounds. And it's the American who will be in front on points. But of course it's the hometown hero, David, the Tua Moneda Tua, starting to stalk and needs to unleash, needs to get that intensity right. Well, he's starting to get a feel. Getting a feel for Barrett. Barrett getting himself caught on the ropes as he got, gets a little bit brave. Right now, looking to tie up his man, but notice as soon as he feels his arm come free, Barrett pulls out, not allowing David Tua to bump up with the right shoulder. Well, another one for Monty Barrett. You look at the corner, a lot of David Tua's family there, very subdued. They know what's happening in front of them. 
It's not often you talk about a subdued Samoa. Norming, it's a slugging Samoa. But at the moment, it's two guns. Barrett still dominating this fight as David Tua finally hits the mark, sort of, with a left hook. Well, a lot of it taken on the glove. Monty Barrett, too much of a slick fighter to get caught clean there with the first shot. And you get the eyes focused, looking at David to and say, you ain't got me yet, mate. Once again. Classic example of a contest where there's so much expectation and hype, and everyone thinks the outcome and the result is just going to be a fait accompli, but when it comes to a contest, you can never write off the underdog. Well, Tua needs to find something, needs to find it fast. And suddenly that hot favouritism is just completely gone. Well, different fighter, very, very sluggish on his feet. He's yeah. trying, to, trying to find some energy in there. He's trying to find something. Chris Martin calling from De Bob's head. He's listening to his corner, but he's got to do that and make him suffer for missing. Nice hook off the jab. There's a good right hand for the first time. Now we see the right. But now he needs to back it up and get busy. Almost hits him again. Monty Barrett taking that on the chin and then changing the angle. Not allowing David to a second bite at Terry. Crowd calling for action. Crowd calling for the tour man. The tour man to start getting busy. Barrett pushing the heavier man off. Finds better range and reach that time. He's starting to get close to David Tua. But so is Monty Barrett. Into round seven. That's a left hook. David Tua took the right hand, but the left hook was there for Monty Barrett. And again, yeah. look at Monty Barrett. Ties up the left hand, shows David Tua his shoulder. Not allowing him anything. He's frustrating him. Slick fighting skills and smart fighting. He's winning this fight. Triple fakes there from Barrett. That jabs is nothing on it at this point. It's the right hand that's coming after it. Two is shaping up with that left hook, just missing the range. And again, he needs to push Barrett back on the ropes. Taking punishment on the inside. Big left. Hits the mark. Second one. He needs to back it up though to him. And Monty Barrett felt that one. Monty Barrett felt that shot. One. For the first time, Monty Barrett is on his bike. To him needs to spot the problem there. He needs to spot that his man was hurt. He needs to back it up. He needs to follow it up. Can't just wait for the big shot. Because he's behind on points. You've got to earn your right to get a big shot on. You don't just get that for free. David Tiller's got to pay his dues to get him there right now. Well, if he wants redemption, he's got to do it. It's not going to be handed to him on a plate. Monty Barrett back on his bike. Back on the winning game plan. He's just had a reminder. And again, tying up the left hook. We saw that earlier from Montage. Yeah. And it's a very effective ploy. Didn't think we'd see it in the main event, though. David Tua needs to slip outside of that jab. Monty just, Barrett briefly switching. That's his best round so far, though. That's his best round so far, but he lost. David Tua now. Six rounds down. Five rounds left in the fight. So much pre-fight hype about this could be David Tua's last fight if he doesn't come out with a big one. Finally landed a good left hook there. Yeah, Monty Barrett, he, what he's doing too is he's trying to come back. Every time he's hit, that That shot. was a good one. Monty Barrett, took a little double take there. But win. what he's doing you is he's to trying to come back. Take charge of the fight right now. All right, calm down. We get it. Take charge of the fight right now. Get this dab on top of him and plant the right hand on the chest, on the shoulder. But get out there and work. Come on, wake up, wake up. Well, he got a wake-up call from David Tua's left hook and another one in the corner. James Ali Bashir says, control this fight with the jab. Land that right hand. Don't let the tour man into the fight. Right, the tour man got busy in the last round, round seven, but it's round eight. 
Can he come out and land a big V8? Well, Tours does have a history of moving his head much better now. He started to find a bit of rhythm himself, switching to southpaw Monty Barrett. That's when Tours should attack. Man's got his back to the ropes. Now going to the body, the Tour man. Well, again, the first two real body shots we've seen in anger. He can't afford to leave it too late, the Tour man. No. Needs to get busy in this round and really start throwing the combos. Barrett just tucks under a lethal left hook. David Tura for the first time starting to throw a couple of hooks and then again a sneaky hook on the break. That's more like David Tura of old. Right hand there. Yes. The crowd thought they were going to see like a 32-year-old David Tura, but it is a sluggish 38-year-old starting to wake up. Barrett talking Barrett back to the ring. about the head. Accidental head clash to a lead with the hook. That's using his experience, also controlling the fight. Doubling up on the jab nicely, Monty Barrett, just going back to his wheels, looking for that right hand. At the moment, he's just turning it over. He's trying to land the overhand right. Again, needs to throw it at the shoulder or the chest of David Tour, and he might find the chin. Particularly with the elusive fighter who's hard to hit as Tour is. Tour not cutting off the ring. He's just following. There he is. That's a left hook that found home. Now he lands another left. Barrett Can he back it up with back. a good left and a right though? Pick the combination. Needs yeah. a couple of king hits. Well, he needs to not allow Barrett to come back and claim. Steal the point, is what they call it. Tate coming away from Tua's glove. And again, he walked into range then without throwing shots. And you can hear the call from Barrett's corner. Don't get sloppy now, don't get sloppy. He's allowing Tua to get close, and Tua's close, he's dangerous. You can't see it, but Monty Barrett's trainer, James Ali Bashir, calling to his man as he sits in the neutral corner. Crowd getting anxious, they know that he's behind on points. He has to find something special now, David Tua. We've seen him find it before in other fights. In rounds 10, 11, 12. It's not that far down yet. Go, 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 go. Oh. Team Barrett not happy at all. He claims that they're cheating. Yeah, well, it was around a long time. James Ali Bashir, been around this game a long time, knows that. Uh... So now we've got 56 seconds left in round eight. It's Eats been another one of those. Jab, David Tua. Watch, wait and see. It's almost like hold, pause, wait and engage, isn't it? We're well, waiting for Tua to get engaged. We shouldn't be seeing David Tua push back like that. A very, very strong Monty Barrett. And they're saying, get out of there, get out of there, get off the ropes. Don't get pushed onto the ropes. And that takes off again. And if people but, thought that Barrett was just going to come here and be cannon fodder for Tua. Well, they he should make them think again, didn't they? Shouldn't have known about that from the first fight. He was far from turning for them. And again, Barrett moving well defensively, very sharp. Look for that right hand that's coming very shortly. There's a couple of good combinations. Tua comes back. Took some punishment on the chin, but still gets wobbled again. Oh, Barrett hooking off the jab. Tua ducking under the right hand left hook. Whoa, what a fight. Could we be in for a boil over here because, don't forget, he's the only guy that's put Tua on the canvas before. Everyone thought that Tua was going to put him on the canvas to make up for it. Well, we've still seen that Tua has the power. We Now what he needs to do is find the impact. He needs to find the impetus and the motivation. Monty Barrett got clipped with the left hook there. His corner yelled, don't get sloppy, don't get sloppy. That one found the mark. And we saw Monty Barrett shortly after that complain about the headshot. David Tua here getting out of the way of those big flurries from Monty Barrett. Left hook again. But Tua has to do more than just duck the punches. He needs to make the play for missing. It's going to be one of the big comeback finishes to keep a desperate career alive because he's running out of time here. Can you sense the desperation? 
Round wow. nine, deep into deep water, David Tua. It's dark and nasty in round nine when you're this far behind. He hasn't round, won a round yet in this fight. He needs to find something and find it fast. We've been saying it since round six. Tua flinching at that right hand. And still Monty, two guns. Barrett using those two guns, that good lethal left and a good right to dominate the fight. Well, he's just doing what he needs to to win the fight. Tua slipping under the right hand there. He's starting to read it a little bit better, David Tua, but where's the urgency? Where's the punching? And again, you can't just sit there and bob and weave. Good body shot. But where's the hook to follow up? The balance is going. He's throwing too much into single shots. But it's not going to be a one-shot wonder. He could be left wondering if he could throw two, like two guys. Oh, Monty Barrett showing a sweet science of boxing. He's sh twisting, changing the angle on Tua, making him follow him. Switching to Southpaw there. This is where Tua should attack. Fought the likes of David Hay, Vladimir Klitschko, he's beaten Jimmy Thunder, Timmy Weatherspoon, so he may be 40 years old and heading for the WWE, but Monty Two Guns Barrett is heading for another, well, his moment of redemption. He thought he'd won that first fight, and he's certainly winning this one. Well, right now in American terms, he's pitching what's called a shutout. So he's is there for the right hand if he throws it. And again, two low body shot with that body shot. Getting a warning from the ref to keep it up. He's wondering about the mental state of David Tua, whether he's worried about his conditioning, whether he's worried about wanting out of gas. He should be worried about not winning this fight right now. He wants to get inside. It's almost like he's waiting for Barrett to sort of walk in so he can just unleash the left hook. Well, David Tua's got a great right hand if he could just use yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. He's drifting into it now, Monty Barrett. See, and again, shuffling left, shuffling right. And it's just not, a, not allowing David Tua to get a bead on him. Little digging right hand from Tua there. Wild left hook from Monty Barrett. That's better from David Tua. It's still blood coming out of that eye as well. Well, this corner's to be fair, done a good job. And that's better from Tua. Monty Barrett slipping over the front leg, nothing in there. Well, a more evenly contested round. Perhaps one that won't go to Monty Barrett. I doubt it though. So it's David Tua, he's in trouble here. And that's clear at the Telstra Clear Pacific Event Centre. This is not the sort of fight that people thought they were going to come and see tonight. They thought that the local hero was going to come here and dominate and smash him, bro. But so far, he's the one that has been dominated. Well, just started to find some range with the right hand. Monty Barrett. Again, managing to avoid most of those shots. Brief trip there as they clashed on the front feet. But uh, a lot of shots that aren't making the round. Now, I'd like to see Chris Martin really having a go at David Tua right now. Because David really needs to pick up his game. Can't just leave it to the boxer. Sometimes it's that teamwork that can really be the difference between victory and defeat. Now Tua needs to get busy, needs to start putting some pressure, putting some hurt on Monty Barrett. Puts That's him right. a little hook. Needs to unleash the look straight away. Barrett ties him up, frustrates to him. Smart boxing. He knows he's ahead on points. Couple of conversations there in the corner. Monty Grant. Barrett going over that, under that left hook. It's too classy to get caught straight off by it. You've got to earn it, David. That one landed, that one hit the mark. He needs more of those. Straight away, cop some more punishment. Now, I've noticed Barrett comes in with the uppercut, then ties his man up. He's a savvy, savvy boy. He's been in there a long time. Brad Vicali, though, onto it pretty quickly. Some on, they've got prayers on. 
MOVA means glory to God and Samoa. That's from the Team Tour camp. But and Monty they need Barrett those prayers to be answered now. Bobby Barrett has been hurt. He's backing off. Tour needs to go in for the kill because he can't do it on points. It's got to be a KO. Well, he's got to find something here, and Monty's just not letting him get a bead on. He's too slippery. Found a bit of range with the right. Gets Walker hitting on the back of the head. Yeah. It's a gentle warning. It's as much in jest as it was with mean intent. Frustration, though, from Tua. Well, if he's frustrated... Yeah. Finish him off, he's got him on the ropes. The tour manager. He's been dominated, he's smiling. Come on, he's got to get in there, David Tua. He's got to finish him here. He's he wobbled the American. He's got his legs back. The legs are just about gone. He needs the big king hit combo. Crowd are calling for it. He pokes his hung out. We've already seen that get one box into trouble earlier tonight. Can Tua come up with the big finish? He can't rely on this big finish, Monty Barrett. Moving to the left, moving to the right. Just not letting Tua get a beat on. Tua needs to throw some more punches here. He had him. He's let him get away. He's let him find back to his range and his rhythm. Monty Barrett switching to Southpaw. Now Tua go to help here. Yeah, well this guy... Cops a good strike. This could turn into a two-round brawl to finish it. Well, it needs to turn into a two-round ball from David Because the two is going to win it. That's what he's going to have to do here. Ten seconds to go. Two ahead him. Unleashes with a big right. Now he's going to run out. He's going to be saved by the bell here. He's still dominating the fight. And not this round. Whoa. Well, that's what the crowd's been waiting to see. Well, they're still hoping for a miracle. Whether or not they can get it. James Ali Bashir is going crazy in the corner. Absolutely crazy in the corner. We had a controversial draw in the first fight. Now look at them. James Ali Bashir is winning this fight. You all right? Are you all right? Going in around 11. We got the fight won. Don't want to do this straight low. That's all I can do. Well, David Tua clipped him with that left hook and then he found it again. Monty Barrett, though, still got his eyes focused on the Tua man. Couple of good punches that time by David Tua, ready landing the mark. But he, but he sort of had him, then let him go. Not sure what uh, Bashir's complaining about. I didn't catch it. Okay, it's the so, low blows for Carly telling Tua to keep him up. Tua now knows he is in desperation zone. Six minutes for Monty Barrett and he is the title holder. David Tua, you've got to throw some punches. Is this two, two rounds to keep his career alive here? Up against two guns. He needs a couple of combos of punches to try and win it by KO. Well... There's no question of this fight going the distance. To a Big last again. Right knockout. Took that one on the glove, Monty Barrett. Gee, you can take some punishment. Yeah, on the glove. Turner needs to find a right hand behind his left top. Could we be headed for right another hand. draw? No. No. Not a they're going to be. Barrett on points. Now Tua taking some more punishment. Or Tua with the KO. He can't afford to let it to go to the judges. He's got two minutes to go in round 11. Scheduled for 12. Now to against the right. He's right above him. He's got him on the ropes. Monty Barrett again. There's a low blow there on the blind side of the referee. Tua swings and misses. There's a left hook there from Monty Barrett. On his own. That cop Tua gets another, another uppercut, uppercut as well. Now right above us in the commentary position, Monty Barrett is on steady legs. He Tua. was certainly plenty of fight on this dog from Queens. Whoa, Monty what Barrett, a contest. 40 years old, and he is fighting the perfect fight against David Tua. 
He's frustrated him. He's picked up the points. He's dinked those. He's put the pressure on Tua to come out with the big KO. Tua's landed some big ones, but not the knockout killer punch. He's not using his shoulder to barge off. He's not using his low center of gravity to push him off. Tua needs to find his own again. Where is the urgency? Again, the arm tied up on the inside underneath the armpit of Monty Barrett. He's keeping his right shoulder there. 50 seconds to go towards the end of round 11. Another blow that was on the hip. A little low from David Tua. Could have come down, and it's going to come down, looks like, to the final three minutes. Have a look at the cut, mate. The referee wants to get the look at that cut. It's not in a dangerous place, that cut. Over in the corner of the eye, so it's not bleeding into the eye. Nice sledgehammer jabs from Monty Barrett. See the sweat coming off David to his head as desperation starts to sink in. All the time those jabs are picking up valuable points too for Barrett. Big left, big right. Swing it around. Monty Barrett holding on for dear life now. Double Monty. good right. Tua needs to finish him. Needs to get combination. Barrett ducking and diving. Barrett throwing a shot back at his own. Barrett has got the combination. Oh, the bell. Oh. Crowd are on their feet, but so is Barrett. That's the problem for the Tua, Well, David Tua... Finishing that 11th round, he's got three minutes to do it. Going back to the WBO rules, the fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round of the fight. Only the referee can stop the fight. And David Tua needs a stoppage to win this fight. Make no mistake, he is eight or nine rounds behind. Three minutes away from keeping his career alive. He's got the hometown support. He's got three minutes to turn this into the defining moment of his career. And it was the right hand that did the damage. Throughout this fight, we've said he needed the right hand. Monty Barrett stumbling in. He's trying to fight back. Monty Barrett, Just David Tua, finally the intensity that we've wanted throughout this and fight. And the bell went. Well, has Monty Barrett recovered from that beating at the end of the 11th round? Great sportsmanship, what a great contest. Are we set for a dramatic, sensational three-minute finish for David Tour against Monty Barrett? Two guns, this is redemption, this is the final showdown. We saw another stumble there from Monty Barrett, I don't think he was hit, it was more of a slip. The crowd are on their feet. His corner did a lot of work to bring him round. Big overhand right there from Monty, he doesn't need to engage. Just needs to keep Tua on the He just point. needs to stay out of trouble. Tua is oh. the one that needs to land the big blow. And he needs to land more than just one. 30 seconds gone. And I'm sprayed by the sweat off Monty Barrett's brow as they sit above us, wrestling in the corner. Monty Barrett still standing. Two minutes to go in this fight. Tripling up on the jab. Quadrupling up on the jab. What can Tua do here? Off. He needs to land the big left. He's just done that. He has yes, to do it again. Back it up with the left and the right. Over the top. Barrett snucks away. Tua's getting tied up. He needs to step back and let his arms fly. Getting tied up. He needs to be fired up. Misses with that left. Has he left it too late? Monty Barrett talking to him in the clutch. Oh, too. missed with a huge overhand right. Monty Barrett just digging away, tying him up, keeping his eyes on his man. A minute 30 to go, 90 seconds, David Tua. There's a lot. Tua to went do. down in their first fight. He There's needs Barrett to go to down right on hand. this one. Oh, he needs him to stay down. Exactly. There's no question. A knockdown will not do it. There's a nice little counter right hand from David Tua. A minute 15. Barrett tying him up. He can afford to lose a couple of points for holding. David Tua needs the best 60 seconds of his boxing career. Oh, he he got got David Tua. And he's got one, two. That's one, two, three. There it is. There it is. He won a 60 seconds. It's not over. It is not over. 
He has got the spike one if he can get up. 48 seconds from Monty Barrett. He needs to finish him off now. He needs to finish him off. Barrett's going to tug him. Hold him. Frustrate him. Tua needs to get some punching room. Needs to get that uppercut. Needs to put him on the canvas. Can't name the target. Tua. Oh, what a finish. Swing and a miss. Crowd are on their feet. The boxes are out on their feet. Problem for Tua is... Barrett is not on his feet. Barrett's found his legs again. Ten seconds. Ten seconds to go. Tua swinging, missing. Can't quite now. The big punch misses again. Barrett ties him up. Well, there's the fight. No question. Monty Barrett, who should have won this fight. David Tua may have finished on top. Monty Barrett shut him out over the first nine rounds. Question is, has he banked enough points? Has Tua come back in the knockdown been enough to impress the judges? Well, maybe they gave him the last two, ten out of ten eight at a stretch. There are possibilities of another couple of rounds, but I doubt it very much. Monty Barrett pitched a shutout for the majority of this fight. Well, we're talking about a redemption. Could we be in for a rematch of the rematch? Well, Could we be in for another draw? Well, David Tua, I honestly don't think he's done enough to win this fight. So now the anxiety as they go to the judges. Remember, one from America, one from Australia, one from New Zealand. So there can be no flames of a biased hometown decision. Well, Monty Barrett should be very proud of himself. He fought like a man possessed. He's 40 years old. His corner's certain he won the championship. Here goes David Tua coming home hard. Big, big, big knockdown it was with the right hand. We've been talking about it. And a combination. The second right hand, Monty Barrett. He only just made the count. He was out. Absolutely out. David Tua fighting with desperation. Gosh, he did so well to get up from that. Monty Barrett. Cedric Kushner, the promoter, is at his feet screaming at 80 years old. But Tua couldn't finish him. He couldn't find the key to unlock him. And now we go to the judges. The tension, the drama for redemption. Which way will it go? Well, as much as we love David Tua, I would struggle to see it going his way. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, can we please have a round of applause for these two heavyweight warriors? Well, the pregnant pause as we await the judge's decision. Judge one, Lori Glozier scores the fight. 113, 114, Barrett. That's the New Zealand judge. Judge two, Michael Hefe scores the bout. 112, 115, Barrett! And Judge 3, Robert Hoyle scores the bump. 112, 115, your winner by unanimous decision, Monty Tuka Barrett! Well, there was no question at the end. Monty Barrett had simply banked too many points. David Tua, he prayed for the move. He almost got it, but he just didn't have enough. He didn't have enough magic in that final round to get Monty Barrett out of there. And a very emotional scene now between these two very, very nice men and good fighters. Monty Barrett's partner there.
She's come all the way over to watch him fight, and it's been emotional. As he now gets the Asia Pacific. Look where his shorts are. Right? That's what you feel. Oriental belt strapped around his waist. No, no, no. There's one on here.